Hey there nation, welcome to the show where we help you to play miniatures wargaming on a budget. It is I, Commander Cheapskate, and we are back with another edition of Meet the Kill Teams. This is kind of like a little mini-series that we're running under our channel where we introduce the various kill teams in our Kill Team Chronicles, which is our series of Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team Battle Reports. And as you can see here, we actually have two kill teams assembled for this one. We have the Git of Fenris, which is a Space Wolf Primaris Reaver squad. That's a kill team used in our campaign. And the other one that we have is Wapocalypse Now, another Orcs kill team that my buddy Brother Grimm uses. So we'll be talking about these two different kill teams in uh, some detail. Talk about exactly what their demeanors are like, what their backgrounds and missions and special, special quirks are for each of the uh, different kill teams. And of course, talk about exactly what the concept was behind designing these kill teams what we we're looking for. So, with this case, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and sit back, relax, and let's go ahead and get this on a roll. And the very first team we're going to start off with is the Git of Finris. All right, so the very first kill team we're going to talk about is the Git of Finris. As you can see, this is a Primaris Reaver squad. This is the kill team that my buddy King Khalifa is running for his kill team campaign. He's got six different space marines inside of these guys. Uh, so let's go and talk about the characters real fast. First of all, the mission for this group is called Shock and Awe, is the name of the mission that these guys are using. It means the enemy must not be defeated, but scattered to the four winds and seat fleeing into mindless terror before the Emperor's Wrath. Which also kind of makes sense too, because when you think of the lore behind Space Wolves, Space Wolves are all about routing their foes and hunting them down and chasing them to oblivion, which kind of matches the uh, character of these guys, which is actually kind of cool. For the background, they are hand-picked fighters, oh sorry, not hand-picked fighters, hand-picked heroes, and they say this kill team has been assembled by the decree of the Chapter Master himself. So these guys have been put together by the Chapter Master of the uh, Space Wolves because of their ferocity in battle. And for their squad quirk, they're known as being stealthy. For all their size and strength, this Battle Brothers move through the shadows with barely a whisper. So that is the kill team that has been assembled for the Gator Fenris. First of all, we have the leader. This is Ulfric Battleborn. He is a Reaver Sergeant. Uh, his demeanor is noble, which means this warrior will take any risk and pay any price to preserve the lives of his Battle Brothers. Up next, we have Ivar Stormstrider, who is a Reaver Scout. Uh, he's the scout specialist in this group. His demeanor is charismatic. This battle brother is forged of courage and inspiration for all. Up next, we have the combat specialist for this group. This is Ragnar the Red. Uh, his demeanor is aggressive. He's always on attack, and the space ring presses ever forward. And then up next, we have Torvald Wormslayer, which is the Reaver demolitions expert. And his demeanor is that he is xenophobic, which means this battle brother hates the perfidy of aliens with a particular vehemence and prioritizing their demise above all else. So those are the four specials that make up this kill team. The other two members, which are the normal squad members of this kill team, is Eric and Leaf Greymane are their names, and they're both Reavers armed with uh, uh, bolt carvings is what they're basically armed with. So as you can see, there's a very, very cool looking little team of uh, kill team operatives. The paint job on these guys is pretty simple. We went with kind of like a lighter gray color scheme with yellow shoulder pads, which is pretty much the color scheme that all the Space Wolves use. I particularly like the way these guys came out, especially if you look at their faces. They look like they're wearing skulls on their half mask, which is really cool as well. Another thing that we also brought up too is the bases. The bases, we kind of went with an ice effect when we painted these guys up, so it looks really, really awesome. It really pops. Uh, one of my viewers asked how we went about making the effect for this. So if you want to know exactly how we did the ice base, what we do is we actually paint the base uh, a light sky blue color is what we do, and then we dry brush it over with a very, very, very pale gray color. A gray color almost so pale it's almost white. Now we use the gray because the gray is a nice little balancing color. It's not too overpowering for white, so we dry brush it real quick to make that little ice effect. And to get that shimmering effect we use is a clear coat of clear acrylic also known as uh, you can also use hard coat which is made by games workshop as well it's another good product i use clear acrylic because it's easier and they put that on top and let it uh, dry out and so that way it creates this kind of shimmering icy effect and of course we paint the rim of the base in that same pale gray color to make it look like these guys are running around on snow and ice and uh and if you also know about the lore about space wolves space wolves come from the the um Death World of Fenris, which is a ice planet, and there's like a bunch of you know carnivorous wolves that run all over that planet and everything else like that. So yeah, that's pretty much how we go about making these guys. So this is the Get of Fenris, commanded by our friend King Khalifa. So with that being said, we're gonna move over now to the next kill team, which is Apocalypse Now, which is commanded by my friend Brother Grim. All right, up next we have Wapocalypse Now. As you can see, this is a very colorful kill team that we have assembled right before us. This is an Orcs kill team that my buddy uh, Brother Grim commands. He actually uses this in battle. And actually, the way that this kill team was actually assembled was actually from, from spare bits and bobs that we had left over in my gaming group. 
Um, first of all, if you notice in the back here, in the back we have uh, three, you know, orc knobs with these guys are from. Now, originally it was a box set of five knobs that came from uh, Warhammer 40k. But what we end up doing is we end up using two of these knobs in order to convert scalies that we used for our Nicomuda campaign for the scavies that we have. Unfortunately, they discontinued making the scaly miniatures, so we had to convert our own. And we did that by using two of the knobs that came in that box set in order to do that. Now, the thing is that we have these three leftover knobs, and so what we decided to use is use these guys for orc boys and the kill team. Uh, Chronicles, and the reason why is because these knobs are very, very single-looking miniatures. They got a lot of character, and so that's what we kind of went with that color scheme as well. At the same time, this orc here is also a leftover orc from the old uh, orc truck miniature. Uh, there, on that miniature, you actually have a guy who could use a pencil-mounted uh, heavy stubber or big shooter, as they call him in the orc world, and that's where that guy came from as well. So these guys in the back rank here, these guys are, I believe, they're called the Rekkas, is what they end up calling. I think that's what my friend Brother Grim calls them. So because of that, it's just four orc knobs with the big shootout. These guys are armed with choppas and sluggas, even though they're armed with these huge weapons and everything like that. One of the cool things I love about the orcs is that they have like this very Mad Max, post-apocalyptic kind of vibe going on with these guys. In fact, if I was ever play 40k seriously and I wanted to buy a whole new army, I'd probably play orcs just because it'd be a lot of fun to uh, to convert over. In fact, I think I'd play a, what they call it, Evil Sons army, where you basically just have a bunch of vehicles and mounted infantry just because I'd Mad Max the heck out of those vehicles and just convert the living crap out of them because it looked really cool. Alright, so up next we also have these six uh, Gretchen as well. These guys are called the Runts is what they're called. And like I said before, these guys are also from some bits boxes that we had left over as well. We originally bought the Grot box, uh, box set, sorry, the Gretchen box set. There we go. Uh, the Gretchens were a box set that you had for Warhammer 40,000 for the Orcs and Goblins. Uh, we bought them because we wanted to convert a couple of these guys into some scavy mutants. That's where we get uh, nerf number one, two, and three from in our uh, Tales from the Underhive battle reports where we actually show the scavy gang. So we had some leftover grots and we decided to use these guys for this kill team as well. As you can see, we use that color yellow to kind of unify the entire kill team uh, just because it's a nice and unifying color for all of them and it kind of pops as well. And then finally over here in the front we have five Burna Boys. Uh, these guys are armed with Scorches, I believe is what they're called. They're basically just miniature flamers that the Orcs use as well. And these guys came out very, very colorful, very, very bright. They just kind of pop as well. And they also have that nice yellow color to kind of unite them to the rest of the kill team as well. So for Apocalypse now, let's go and talk about some of the background for these guys. For their mission, their mission is to salvage. And this kill team must pick over every fallen corpse and piece of machinery to grab everything they can for the mechs. For their background, these guys are scrap hunters, which means that these orcs are driven to hoard scrap, and even if it's bolted down, these lads will steal it along with the bolts, because that's what these guys do. They hoard technology, they hoard machinery, and bring it back to the mechs to use for bigger and better war machines. And the squad quirk, of course, is pyromaniacs, which means every member of this mob enjoys seeing things ablaze and knows a burning thing is a good thing. And that's what these guys have as well. Now, my friend, uh, Brother Grimm, bought these guys here. These guys are called, I believe they're called Grog Skulls Dracas or Grog Skulls Boys or something like that. They're the box set that came out for the promotional items that came out for the Kill Team, the first Kill Team uh, uh, start collecting box set. And these guys look really, really cool. They're extremely detailed, just like the way these guys end up looking like after, especially after we got done painting them with these bright, you know, day glow kind of colors to make these guys really pop. These guys came out really cool. So let's go and talk about the specialist real quick. First of all, we have the big mech. That is the Berna Spanner Leader. His name is Grog Skull Draca. That's the name of the character that came in the box set. Uh, his demeanor is a violent loon, which means that even by green skin standards, this war is full of aggression and he does not know the meaning of the word overkill. Up next, we have Fragbag Squirrel Squig Biter. Ah, oh, these names, man. Uh, this guy is a Burner Boy Demolition Specialist. His demeanor is too dumb to know fear, which means that nothing could dissuade this orc from attacking. Up next for the next uh, specialist that we have after him, this guy's name is Skagscrot Iron Boot. He is a Burner Boy Combat Specialist, and his demeanor is heavily scarred. It says other green skins view so much battle damage the same way other races might gaze upon veterans bedecked with military medals, ribbons, as well as honors. And then finally we have Zogger Stompa Crumpa. Stomp Crumpa. I'm very, very, sorry, hold on. Zogger Stomp Crumpa. That's his name. All right. He's a Burner Boy Zealot. And his uh, demeanor is stubborn. With single-minded determination, this orc is set on accomplishing every task in their own way. And, of course, we have the very last guy. This guy is called Grunk Flame Spitta, and he's just a normal burner boy as well. So, as you can see, a lot of different metallic colors as well as different uh, color schemes for these guys to kind of net them all together. And this kill team is very, very colorful and pretty awesome as well. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that's going to do it for this one. This wraps up another edition of Meet the Kill Teams. As you can see, we actually broke down the squad backgrounds as well as the demeanor for both kill teams with the Get of Fenris, our Space Wolf Primaris Reaver kill team, as well as Wapocalypse Now, our Orcs kill team. So that's going to do it for this one, you guys. As always, please feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. Your guys' input is valuable to us as always. Also, check us out on Instagram, Google+, Blogger.com, and Facebook for all the latest and greatest news about our hobby. That's good to do for this one, you guys. You guys stay classy. We'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out.